OK, so let's say uh, I want to find the first three terms of 2x plus 1 over 1 plus x, 1 plus 3x, and then determine for which values of x it is valid. So the first thing that I need to do is to split it up into partial fractions. So 2x plus 1 over 1 plus x, 1 plus 3x is equivalent to a over 1 plus x plus b over 1 plus 3x. OK, so that's the first thing. I then want to multiply both sides by these two brackets. So I'm going to get 2x plus 1 is equivalent to a times 1 plus 3x plus b times 1 plus x. OK? Then I want to eliminate the brackets. So I'm going to let x be minus 1 to start off with. So we're going to get minus 2 plus 1, so minus 1 is the same as 1 plus 3 lots of minus 1, so that's minus 2a, and so a would have to be 1 half. Then I'm going to have to let x be minus 1 third in order to eliminate that bracket there, okay? So we've got 2 lots of minus a third, so minus 2 thirds plus 1 is a third. And that's going to be minus a third, or one, take away a third. OK, so that's two thirds. And so B would have to be one half as well. So that means that we can split it up into, um, well, let's save on space. So one half and B is a half. OK. So that's got to that point there. I can then write that as 1 half of 1 plus x to the minus 1 and a half of 1 plus 3x to the minus 1. And now I must use the binomial expansion to expand these out to the first three terms. So we'll keep that half out the front. Um, if we keep the half out of the front of the whole thing, that's probably going to be easier. So we've got 1 plus x to the minus 1. So 1 plus nx. So 1 plus minus 1 times x, so minus x, plus n times n minus 1 over 1 times 2, or 2 factorial, times x squared, plus other terms. OK, that's the 1 plus x to the minus 1. Then we've got the 1 plus 3x to the minus 1, so we're going to have 1, so plus 1 plus nx, so minus 1 times 3x, so minus 3x, plus n times n minus 1 over 2 factorial times 3x, all squared, plus other terms, OK? And then close the big bracket. So we've got a half of... 1 plus 1, so that's 2. We've got minus x, take away 3x, so minus 4x. Then we've got this, so we've got 2 over 2, which is 1, times x squared. And that's 1 again, so we've got x squared plus 9x squared, so 10x squared. Plus a load of other terms that I just could ignore. And so we've got 1 half of that, so 1 take 2x plus 5x squared, plus a load of other terms, OK? And so that is the first three terms of the binomial expansion of that fraction there, OK? And we could determine for which values of x it is valid, because this uh, bracket here will be valid for mod x is less than 1, and this one will be valid for mod x is less than 1 third, and so the whole thing, in order for the whole thing to be valid, we must take the smaller of the two, because it's where the two overlap. And so it's valid for mod x is less than one third. OK? And that's how we can solve this problem.